are going to be forced out and is going to need to TP back home yeah. or at least over to the shrine. Perhaps Cole and Kuro over to use that one. Maybe uh, it looks like Matu Blade Fearing down a wave is going to come in. So a three man shrine. Oh, Miracle turns to fight, wants to take this one. They get the kill. Is going to end up very firing, trying to stay alive. But also had one charge. In the oh, just barely oh, off the mark. He saw it coming, it looks like. He sidestepped that one. Triple run to mid. Wants three. to find him. They get this change. It's going to be able to do a good bit of damage. Oh, he misses. Right there, though. The Malefist to turn, freeze. Maybe in some trouble. Is going to fall. So gets a little bit aggressive and is punished. Like, this ganking style to try and beat the five man of Liquid at this Dyer's point. Middle tower is under attack. Well, it looks like, again, Freeze in the mid lane is going to throw out one of those remnants. Why to stay alive? Careful, they they're going as well. There's going to be the black hole. It's now on the two. It's huge. It's going to be a kill on the two of them and now going to be able to find a bit more. Miracle already with the double. Can they take down Aggressive? Kuro is getting turned upon, but Aggressive is kind of left on his lonesome. They have him inside of a creep wave. But man, oh, oh man, what a situation. He went for the deny on it. His team were like pinging one of them, <laughs> trying to figure out which one the life seal was in. They're, they're auto denying these. Now and now again, they're up there in tide of them and aggressive is going to end up falling. So another great pickup. Matumba Man takes him down up to achieve something. But with Invoker and Sentinel, they can still delay this and also cause problem. Sunstrike comes in, they realize what's happening, they're going to get that initiation off, connect onto two, there's a deafening blast, one is already gone, aggressive is out of there, can they take down more, Chain's going to be able to contain them for the moment, but they're able to take them down, Freeze now needs to remnant it out, but this with the amp damage on top of it might be Liquid Roche. They're stealing Roche without Rock, without Black Hole, Illuminate will try and deter this, but there's a healing ward, they can't get in there and not easily get to that healing ward, you haven't got any good heroes to bring it down. On top of them, trying to get it. Vacuum wall into the crunch, but the rock counterplay is going to be there. Everybody from Liquid is still alive for the moment, but so is VGJ. It looks like they're going to be able to call it there. A good initiation comes in for mind control. They're going to drop the rock. They're going to also drop the Omni. Takes down that life stealer right there at the start. Matumba Man going to be crushed for the moment. Miracle pretty low in this one. Is he going to fall? He does end up burning through the Aegis, but it is just the Aegis. Like they're gonna disengage. Life still abides back. That's already a big win in itself and Beachy Gaming still pressed to chase. Well, they've been able to pull back one, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough. And they're in the ice wall now. So frustrating. GH doesn't want to reveal himself there. It looks like they're at least gonna be able to keep eyes now on to ROTK. Okay. They're thinking about it. Black Hole is there. Can they hit it? Is going to be able to get the initiation for Mind Control. They're trying to set up for a big Black Hole. Curl looking Back for in. the angle. This could be huge if he is able to find it, but Aggressive has no rage here. He's going to be very careful. Five seconds. Curl drops it. There it is right on top of him. And this is another one. A That's die a back. This oh. could end up being more. Yeah, without an Aegis, they probably don't care as long as Life Seal is dead and RTK slowed down as well. No way out of this one. They've got the cold snap. He's going to end up falling from bad to worse. BGJ just in a terrible position, and it looks like they're going to be able to run down the Kato as well, and a 24 minute GG through it with the Lion Finger, all that other stuff. But it's not really been a, a, a pace of the game where they've been allowed to find those pickoffs that they might want with this lineup. But there it is going to be the real locate coming in trying to take him down remnant forward in trouble the rock counterplay it's not going to be enough though as it looks like omni slash drop miracle barely left alive one more punch and fenrir takes him down with the golem this is just an immaculate performance the from them. Get Roche? Are, they're pulling him back in. They're able to relocate and now could potentially even take the fight. The Omni Slash is there on top of Matumba Man, but they're pulling him it. deep inside. Wow, what a great play. And now Miracle, he's just gone. They dropped the rock. It doesn't do anything. They've already killed off the Warlock. They're going to lose butt racks at this rate. They're getting pulled completely apart. Legion Commander is gone. Oh, Liquid just putting on an absolute killer performance. Matumba Man takes the barracks. Where are VTJ? They're all over the map. They're nowhere at the same time. Burrow Strike off the mark. Liquid are pulling all the strings. Oh my this god. Split, Vici gaming up, and they will take Roche for themselves while taking the bot racks. It's not, it's not just that they, they get one of the two, they get both. That is impressive. Matumba Man, oh, they dropped the RP onto one. Maybe it's something, but aggressive. Well, double kill for him, but they've got the Aegis on Matumba Man, and that feels like it might be good enough. He is 
still fairly low in this. He's going to throw out an adaptive strike. They've lost Miracle, but he has waveforms out. Oh my uh, lord. What an impressive display. Defensive E-Blade blocks that. He's going to waveform out of here now. Matu's just like, see you later, guys. Has a Manta style as well. The boot GH is there for the test. The Scotty. I, this game Dyer's just feels like there's health. nothing BG Gaming can do. I mean, they have this incredible 5v5 team fight. And you ask, like, what item did Liquid get in this 5v5 fight? There isn't one. They're just going to keep on split pushing till the bitter end. All right, duel there. The E Blade's going to keep them alive for the moment, but they do finally find that kill. And Matumba Man now forced to relocate. Yeah. Or rather, oh, they go to the relo GH. Okay, that's. Top top uh, he's going alone. <laughs> Cancels it. Yeah. He's going to be out of there. Radiant Mind Control also trying to escape. ROTK is there. Can they break it? They are going to be able to break that TP. Ooh. Mind Control in some trouble. So already lost Miracle. Now going to lose the Beastmaster. They do both have buyback. Yeah. But it's something for VGJ. And you can see the crowd needed. Uh, aggressive at bottom. Does have Lincoln. So isn't too vulnerable. Hook spike for Kuro. Looks like Kuro. Oh, he doesn't have any Observer Wards left. He's just trying to be in a sneaky spot here. Maybe thinking a relocate could come in. Oh. Again. Mind Control, Roar, they have the Necro books down as well. Try and take him down. They relocate. RP is used as well as the Rock onto two of them. Miracle is still there as well. They're trying to survive and turn this fight back around. GH is dropping lower and lower, but they've got him taken down. Omni Slash is there. It's a it. out of it. Nicely played. Miracle. Oh, anyway. He'll take it. It bounced off the Beastmaster to the Ember, which meant Mind Control is free, and then he could just fire Remnant away. Wow, and now they've got another as well. Kuro here, but they get the duel off. That is going to be Kuro dropping down, and meanwhile, it's oh. a little bit further, and Miracle is forced wow, back. Still the Remnant out. He is oh, they jump in immediately oh. and take down Kuro, and now going to be able to find another. This would be a huge one if they can finish it off. Kuro pulling him back in, but Tumble Man, though, Ghost Scepter, going to keep him rather healthy. It lame me, Maul. The rat continues. Oh, they're Taking it down, but Tumble Man able to get the TP out. And as you said, mid lane is being pressured quite heavily. They take down the tower, force out the glyph, and Roshan still stands. Morph didn't die. The big thing, I feel like Liquid's game plan there was to the key thing is they kill Io. Taking out Relocate is incredibly important. Miracle's back in though. Oh my god, this oh, guy just oh, continuing oh. to do Taking it. Taking a range track, you know, he's bit by bit, he wants to just break BT Gaming's spirit. RP is down too, this is filthy. And Skewer, yeah, no great answer for that one. Gonna change him for a moment. They Burrow Strike, okay. they're just gonna be able to break it. But I mean, at the same time, he doesn't really care. Just gonna be able to get out of there after he takes the range barracks. All right, well, this could potentially be the moment as, I mean, this is a moment where you kind of need another scale of, oh, Burrow onto Miracle. They've got the duel as well. Kuroki gets a Ravage off there with the hard knock. Now they turn it around. The first finger of death of the game. A double kill now from a Tumble Man. And they do have an Omni Slash there, doing a good bit of damage onto Mind Control. In some trouble. They managed to find that kill, but he's going to be hexed up. Over here is going to be the Tumble Man getting the right clicks off. That DD paying off as well. And they get the RP followed up with the Rock. Can they take them all down? Triple from a Tumble Man. A double. They end up all going down but still he's too large this morphling it's still been ages too cannot be stopped it looked pretty it looks good oh uh, it's over on agi for a moment oh that's still a, a no omni slash and with the io's heat to heal him back up matu's in not oh. stopping for anything they do pop the glyph but continuing to hit away at it they just don't have any way to stop it. He's gonna wave for him forward, just to evaporate Fenrir. They try and bring him down, but as you mentioned, Aegis is only gonna be popped just oh, now. They're oh. controlling Miracle, they pull him back in. Do they have an answer from a Tumble Man? Taking a good bit of damage. As you mentioned, no two minutes without the... Well, Ember, he's actually morphling. Woo! Is he out though? Freeze is still chasing. They see vision of him, but they also recognize they gotta defend this last range, Rax of theirs. Is it now or never? It feels and actually, Matumba Man, they yeah. go for the relocate. Gonna go for out damaging the backdoor protection. And he leaves the IO behind. GH will walk into the fountain and just. It's the safest place to be, you know? You're away from the enemy heroes. And instant escape. So now with Mega Creeps, VT Gaming, all in. All right, they're on top of him. They get the duel. He does still have buyback, though, and they're trying to heal him back up. GH saving him just barely. Oh there is no relocate. Gosh. The Shrine Fountain to heal him back up a little bit more aggressive. Dying going for the Blade Fury, just trying to bring this down to whatever possibility they have. But Matumba Man turning on to aggressive now, trying to deal the damage they have to deal. The Burrow Strike again going to connect. There's an RP, and a good Earth Spike there for the second. 
and the Envy Center are coming out as well. Matumba Man pops the Mantis down. They buy back on GH, trying to save him. They do finally bring down Morphling. He's the to buy back. My control's going for the throne. They want to take this down. Are we going to see them be able to take it? Master's also like going the for the things. throne. Over there, it is an exposed ancient at this point. Over on the dire side, go put vision on it. It is going to end up being the game.